Hey, what's up? This is Eddie. It's Panda. This is uh, a podcast on the Game and Pizza channel. Yeah, it is. And I really like pizza, by the way. Just a heads up. Have you tried that uh, that weird pizza from Pizza Hut? It's got like this strange, like, I don't know. That one had hot dogs in the crust? No, I have not tried that yet. Or what about that one that they were that they had in Korea? Well, you obviously haven't tried it, but have you heard about that? Yeah, one? I flew to Korea and I, you know, bought a pizza and brought it back. <laughs> you didn't even take me with you. Yeah, of course. Would you ever go to Korea? Yeah, why not? Dude, I hell want to go to Seoul. Yeah, me too. Go see the geeks play. In Seoul. Yeah. There was a guy I was talking to that lives in Seoul. Or is it Seoul or Seoul? It's Seoul. Seoul. It's Seoul. So yeah. I've been saying it wrong this entire time. <laughs> then, but he runs some label over there. He seems pretty cool. We swapped packages. Well, that sounds kind of <laughs> gay. <laughs> Not like sexual packages, but you know, like packages. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the pizza was. Uh, it was like seafood. It had like crab and something else in it, and but it was sweet. Oh, that sounds sure. kind of weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Yeah, I seen a video of it, and two people were trying it. And they said they hated it. They said it was terrible. They said it tastes like pie. I don't want a pie with crab. That does not sound good to me. No. What about shepherd's pie? Have you ever had shepherd's pie? No, I've never had shepherd pie. What the hell is in shepherd's pie? I have no clue. What's in it? Oh, that sounds effing delicious. Oh, I can go for that. Oh. Speaking of food, uh, yeah. in general, I have to say I'm pretty stoked to hear that the Rita's Water Ice is in Modesto. Why is it called Rita's Water Ice? Or what is Rita's Water Ice? Okay, if you want me to be uh, completely honest, I'm not really too sure exactly, <laughs> but... Um, the Woody Show was talking about it, and they were talking about how great it was. So I'm like, oh my god, that sounds good. I really want to get, I want to try Rita's Water Ice. But like, the nearest one's, you know, down over there, SoCal. I'm like, I'm not going to drive that far, though. And then I'm like, ah. And then in the mail, like, six months ago, came in, and it was like it was a little flyer saying Rita's Water Ice coming soon to Modesto. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, when? Where? And I looked. It's on McHenry. And I drove by there a couple weeks ago. And it was not open, but according to what Brittany said, it's open. So we're looking into it, and I guess it's like uh, like gelatos, ice cream, kind of shaved ice, stuff like that. Frozen custards. Oh my god! Why did I expect food? I don't know why I was expecting like it's dessert. But I'm excited. I can't wait. I need to go there tomorrow, possibly, and just stuff my face. Do you have to work tomorrow? No. <gasps> I got the whole day off tomorrow, so I'm going to stuff my fat face all day long. Road trip. Not even a road trip. It's like right down the street. Well, it's a road trip for me. I don't even like to leave my house right now. When do you ever like to leave your house? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why it would be more of a road trip. <laughs> um. I got to see this menu now because I want to know what you're talking about. Like, I really want to know. Anyways, you're going to have to show me after this. Uh, to be honest, I haven't checked out the menu. I'm just telling you from what I've – someone else looked at it and told me about it. So, Okay. But either way, I'm excited to try it. I will try it. It will be in me tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So you were reading me an article earlier, and it was about this whole iPod retrofitting. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I know everyone's kind of off the hype of the iPod, classic iPod. I'm yeah. not really down with the iPod Touch because, one, I have my phone. Two, it doesn't hold as much gigs as the classic. Classic I have is 160, which right now it's filled up to 128 gigabytes, so I have less than 40 gigs on it. Of straight music. Now, everyone's like, why do you even carry that? You have your phone. I'm like, well, okay, look. I don't have... Well, I'm dying over here. I don't have unlimited data. So, for me to 
stream music kills my data plan, which is stupid. I don't want to pay more for data, which to me is really annoying because it seems like everything runs off data now. Hi, Thomas. And Thomas for me, here. if I'm driving around, I don't always have the best cell phone reception. So, like, trying to stream when you're out in the middle of nowhere never works. Or I'll get through, like, halfway through a song and it starts buffering and it's the most annoying thing ever. Yeah, there's nothing worse than when, like, the song quality goes down be- just because you have crap in it. It's not even the quality. I can't even listen to a whole song because it keeps stopping and buffering, buffering. Then it plays a little oh, bit. Really? Buffering. Yeah, it's, uh. it's, it's annoys me. It's like I can't even listen to the music I want to listen to. That's why I love my iPod. Because I can just put it all on there. It doesn't mess with my data. It doesn't get, you know, choppy because the connection is not good. But the problem is I'm running out of room. And I know sooner or later that thing's going to be full or it's going to eventually die. And Apple doesn't make them anymore. Wait, they don't make them anymore? They quit making the classics. There's no iPod classics anymore. They don't make it. They stopped making it in 2014, dude. Or... This year or last, they killed it. It's dead. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why that article was so such pretty, like you know, like a big thing. So the article is talking about people who are retrofitting their old classics. Uh, there's places that refurb them, I guess you could say, put new batteries in, and they can make it with even more uh, storage space. So it's saying like people are putting like 256 gigabytes with a solid state drive, which is Way better than what the current one is because it's not a solid state drive. It's got yeah. moving parts, so it's slower. You know, if you're running with it, it kind of messes everything up. Dude, I really want to know if, if I could get that that uh, iPod Mini that Britt has retrofitted. Yeah. yeah, so I love my classic. I still use it every day. It goes with me everywhere I go. I've taken my iPod with me. I mean, it's one more thing I got to carry, but it's so much easier. I have my whole every CD I have, every record I have. It's not then, even like they're that big or anything. No, it's not big. It's just nice to have it there. Like, oh, I got my whole library with me. And it doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm not using any of my mobile. I know some people are like, well, I like to use Spotify because, well, then at least when I listen, I get the artist some money. I'm like, dude, you have to listen to a song like 50 times before they get a penny. So it's almost like pointless. Yeah. Yeah, why try, right? Well, I mean, it's nice, <laughs> but I mean, you know what I mean? Like me yeah. listening to my iPod. Plus, I don't, have to, I don't have to pay for a service. I don't have to pay for more internet data to stupid AT&T because I hate AT&T or as it is. Yeah, I have a very strong dislike for for the AT&T. No, I'm all for retrofitting my iPod. I would totally do it. Like, I really need to look into it because I would do it because I need more gigs on mine. But do you even listen to all the music on your iPod? I put it on shuffle. Oh, yeah. All the time. Shuffles through everything. I don't know if it would be worth it for me to go and do that. I can see how it's worth it for you because you actually listen to your iPod like all day because you get to drive every day. Even when I'm not driving, though, I still like to listen to my iPod. I'm working out or if I'm walking or running. I don't really run. I guess it's a lie. That's a lie. I don't <laughs> run. So I'm walking. I'll put the iPod on. Do you well, still spin records? Yeah, I still listen to my records too if I'm at home. I'm too lazy for that. It's uh, it's different when you listen to the record. I don't know why. It sounds like it's better. I think it listening better, to a record sounds yeah. better. I think it sounds better, but I'm just too lazy for it. Because I have the... Gorilla Biscuits, and I feel like the album's so much better when I listen to it on the record player than when I listen to it on my iPod. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head, but that's how I feel. No, I I, I, I know what you're saying. Because I, I think it does sound better on a record, but I don't want to sound too hipster, so let's move along. Okay. All right. Been thinking. X is my friend. Oh, my God. I've been watching Friends... And um, two of the characters on that show are effing annoying. And, like, I've always kind of been that guy that's been... I've always had the, like, kind of mentality, like, you just need to cut it off. Like, cut it clean. Like, a clean break, you know? And, like, yeah. I don't think that you can be friends with your exes. I've I've always had that kind of strong feeling. I tried it once. It didn't work. And I've never tried it again. And I've been happier ever since. So, I've noticed with three relationships... Where the girls were friends with their exes. It just never worked out. It was always a problem for me. Well, one, I'm kind of jealous. A little bit. 
You're pretty jealous. I'm kind of jealous a little. You're, I mean, you're a jealous guy. Okay, not, not like super jealous. Not like but... stalker jealous or like controlling jealous, but you you got some jealousy there. But there's been a problem. What well, I mean, there's like a reason behind it. Of course, yes. Because you can't trust these bitches <laughs> that are saying like, oh, this is my ex and we're just friends because like three times. There's been, okay, well, two times. Third one just being kind of slightly annoying where it was like, that shit's suspect. But there was one where like, there, she was friends with her ex, and then for his birthday, he wanted to take her out to dinner. I'm like, okay, that's kind of like a red flag. Like, I could see if it was, like, your birthday, and he wanted to take you out for dinner on your birthday. I'd be like, okay, but it's his birthday, and he wants to take you out for dinner? That's kind of weird, dude. Wait, what? When was that? When I dated that chick, Sierra. Oh, yeah. I remember, I'm, I'm, I'm like, that sounds so weird. Like, what the hell, dude? Like... Like, doesn't that sound like something like, you still like this person, so it's my birthday. Hey, I want to go out to dinner with you on my birthday. Yeah, I want I want, I want let me take like, you, my best friend to be there. Like, or, like, let me try to take you back afterwards so I can bang. You know, like, that's what it seems <laughs> to be. Like, I think about it, I'm like, okay, that was kind of weird. Give me my birthday present after dinner. Yeah, me, yeah, give me my birthday present after I give you food. I don't know, but, that I mean, like, I don't know if that ever happened to me. Let me feed you and you can <laughs> feed me. I'll give you that extra large sausage. <laughs> I got that hot Italian sausage for you later. Ugh. No, I don't know, though, but, man, like, I don't know if she ever cheated cheat on me i don't know but I, that like was kind of annoying but it didn't matter that wasn't a long relationship but then there was the other girl where um she was friends with her ex no she was just friends with a bunch of guys but it's like you could tell when a guy likes you and as another guy you could tell when another guy likes your girl and that was always a problem like dude no we're just friends i'm like okay but like okay, okay, so here this is suspect too. Like, if you ever got someone who's texting your girl in the morning, like good morning text, like that's red flag. Right red there. flag. That's why I said like this guy. Why does this guy text you good morning text? Like, like oh he's just a friend. I'm like dude, I don't have any girls who are texting me good morning. Let alone am I texting any girls? Wait, what time in the morning? Like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Oh hell no! Like, come on. Do you have any friends that are girls that you're texting good morning? No. Or any girls that are friends that are texting you good morning? No. Yeah, exactly. If they're texting you, like, good morning or morning, like, I'm pretty sure that person probably likes you. Yeah. So that was something I'm like, I'm like, like, like I'm not dumb. I know. I'm a fucking guy. You know what guys are doing. Right, so yeah. I remember that was a big, like, I got an argument with, with this chick that I was dating about that. And then, like, three months later... She's like, oh, yeah, that guy asked me for some naked pictures. I'm like, well, no shit, he fucking liked you, dude. It was hella obvious. She's like, yeah, I stopped talking to him. But it was just like, but it was like that on, with like multiple guys always like that. I'm like, God, this is so stupid. So annoying. And then the last chick was friends with her ex. And that was like always an argument because, I don't know, it's just annoying. Like, why is your ex texting you at midnight or one o'clock in the morning. That's like fucking suspect, dear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't think it works. Because here's how I look at it. Like, look, if, if, like, maybe the person that you're dating is not interested in them. Yeah. But definitely the person who broke up with them still has... Or the person that got broken Someone up with. Someone still has emotions there because they don't want to break it off. Well, yeah. I mean, but my whole thing is, like, you have a past. Like, if you fooled around with somebody, like, if you've seen that person naked, that's reason enough for me to not like them. Yeah. Because, well, like... Okay, so, so that was the thing with me. I'm like... Uh, well, she, the last girl was like, oh, we're just friends. I'm like, well, uh, it's a little different because you guys dated for five years. Yeah. It's like... I think that kind of changes your friend relationship. Like, you're not technically friends. Like, you can't no. just say, like, hey, we dated for five years. We were banging for five years, but we broke up. But now, like, all that shit that happened doesn't matter. We're just friends now. It doesn't work that way. No. and, and But that's what, that's like, I think, well, maybe it's just the guy thing that I do. is just, like, that's the one thing that I think about is, like, it's like, yeah, you guys might have been good friends at some point when you were dating, but what makes you not friends was the fact that, and not just you, you were dating, is that, that this person has seen you naked and has touched those sacred parts. Yeah. Well, and so, like, I, that makes me, like, think, like, nah, I don't know. Like, it doesn't make me feel right. But it just seems weird to me because it's like, okay, so if you're dating someone and they're clearly like bothered by it 
and you're not willing to get rid of it or stop talking to this person, that's kind of like, I don't know, like a red flag. Don't you think so? Yeah. I mean. Like if it's affecting your current relationship and you're like, no, I have to stay friends with my ex because, you know, they're important to me. It's like, well, why are you even dating this person then? Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, I know that, like, relationships just don't work sometimes, but I don't know, man. Like, I, like, I've like i never thought that it was a good idea. And I know a lot of people think the same way. It's just better to, like, break it off because you always have those, like, emotional ties to that person. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and even if, like, you were just trying to be friends, there's still that, like, oh, but what if? What if things were different? I don't know. All I know is for me, girls that have their friends with exes have not never gone well. And trying to be friends with, like, I know from a guy's standpoint, trying to be friends with a, an ex that is a girl, that never goes well either. No. Because well, then you end up hanging out too much, and then you end up either banging yeah. or getting back together, and then you bang. Yeah. Well, I, that that's what happened to me when I broke up with Leah. We stayed friends for six months, and it was like, for six months, we were just banging. And it was like, okay... <laughs> This isn't working. I gotta like, like I had to cut it off. I'm like, all right, like uh, it's kind of weird. You're kind of, you, man. What? You're like a little bunny rabbit. Well, I mean, like, look, because then you know, happens like, oh, let's hang. You want to hang out? Okay, then hang out. Next, you know, it's like you're banging, and it's like, well, how the hell did that happen? I don't know. It just happened. You're banging, and then you hang out again, and then you're banging again. And it's like, <laughs> damn it. Well, this ain't making anything easier. How old were you when that was going on? Like eighteen. Oh, yeah, that sounds about that age. Yeah. But, I don't know. So, the last girl was like, uh, friends with their ex. And then we broke up for a little bit. And then she went and banged her ex. And then we come back and we got back together because I'm an idiot. And then I was supposed to be like, oh, we're just friends, though. I'm like, what do you What do you mean you guys just, you just banged him? How you got, that totally changes friends. There's no friends there, dude. Yeah, that's like. And then that was like an argument for the next six months afterwards. It's like, ah, this is so dumb. Like, what's the point? It's so stupid. That's kind of foolish on your part a little bit. I know. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Like, I don't know how to make good decisions. It kind of happens. I think you start thinking of the... And no, then, I just thought and then everything just... should be different. But it's like, okay, you just bang the guy. And then here he is texting you at midnight. And he's emailing at 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, what the fuck, dude? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Come on. I don't know, man. I still think you're thinking of some of this. All right. The old... I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, I'm done. Like, if I ever date a girl, can't be friends with their ex, dude. Like, gotta, that's going yeah. to be your rule. Like, are you friends with your ex? Yes. <laughs> that's one of the five Keep questions. Keep walking. Later. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you should be done with that. Like, you need to put that... You need to, like... That needs to be one of your rules. Like, like I'm not doing next. it. Because the other th- two girls that had friends with eggs, it's the same bullshit. It's like, dude. Like, someone's back burning. Like, you know, like, oh. You know, if you're lonely, just come bang me. I'm like, oh, God, stupid. So yeah. Like, like, if you're going to date me, and we break up, I'm done. You ain't going to ever hear from me again. <laughs> <laughs> Never. That's it. Unless you want some... Well, maybe. Maybe you might hear from me then. <laughs> a guilt-free night? I don't know, man. I, I feel like that's always just, like, setting yourself up for heartbreak. Because I know for me, like, I get emotionally attached. And so, like, when I break up with somebody, it's like, I got to break it off completely. Because, like, I need to break off those ties. Yeah. Well, that's what I had to do with Leah. Because I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I got to the point almost once where I'm like, maybe I should ask her back out again. And I'm like, wait, what am I doing? And there's a reason why I broke up with her. I got to just cut this off, dude. That's what I did. Yeah. Cause I don't know. I suck. I can't have just. I can't do one night stands. Cause I get like. I get no, all, like, I, gay, I can't. And like I get all like. Uh, I think I really like this person, and I get all like <laughs> caught up. Um, and then like next thing I'm like, oh man, maybe I should just be with this person. Cause. Wait, did you think that you were gonna get married, Delia, at any time? Uh, there was a first. Yeah, like I had the thought a couple of times. I mean, we got a well, well, I don't know. I Okay, when I think about it now, I think about, like, in my head now, like, hey, we got along pretty good. 
But then I'm like, I can't be right because there was a reason why I broke up with her. <laughs> yeah. So I know that's not right, but I, I don't know. No, but you know, like, you know, when you hook up with somebody for the first time or whatever and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. I'm marrying this person. Yeah, I've never had that. No. Oh. <laughs> never, never had that. <laughs> not like that. Not like, oh, I just had sex with me, marry you. Like, no. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I think I was raised, like, a little too religious, uh, I guess. Like, my mother always told me to, like... I mean, well, I always try to make it a point to, like, not be a man whore because people close to me were, and I didn't want to be like them. And and so, like, my whole thing was, like, I didn't want to use, like, sex as, like, a... I didn't want to abuse it, I guess. Mm-hmm. I wanted to use it in the right way. And I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And I didn't want to hurt myself. So, like, to me, it was like, oh, if I'm having sex with somebody, that's got to be the one. Yeah. And that's so dumb to think that way. I mean, I mean, I think it's important to have morals and, like, you know, have standards or not. Like, I, I feel like if you're going to be having sex with somebody, it should be at least somebody that you actually care about. Yeah, I give you that. Yeah. I've never really been like one for one night stand. Yeah, me either. One because I have no game, so I can't really get someone to want to have sex with me one night. <laughs> I kind of gotta like work on it, so like that's like uh, you're gonna have to start dating me before you have my penis in here. <laughs> but <laughs> what if somebody one night standed you? Would you go with it? Uh, I don't know. I'm like shy so i'd probably get really nervous and then it would probably be horrible sex and it's like it's not even worth it because then they're gonna talk shit the next morning or the next day <laughs> to your face <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm like uh you know what let me just like warm up to you first and then like we'll have a good time everything will be great i heard this story the other day at work the guy was telling me this guy is super like paisa too like he's from mexico and he's got, like, a, one of those crazy accents that, like, I don't know. For me, like, whenever I hear, like, a funny accent, like, somebody has, like, a thick, like, not Southern. Because Southern always just annoys the shit out of me. But, like, European or, um, or like, from, like, Mexico or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, they have that, like, really thick accent. And, like, whenever I hear that, it makes me laugh. Anytime they say anything, I just get the giggles. I was just like, what? But this guy's telling me the story about how he got this girl drunk and they were partying or whatever. And like, he's like, oh, I'm a good guy, man. I didn't sleep with her. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, we hung out and, and she got really wasted. And then she was talking about how she wanted to have sex. And, and I told her, I was like, oh, no, we could talk about it in the morning. Let's just lay down. And so he said they went to sleep next to each other in the same bed. And the next morning she woke up. She's like, oh, what did I do? And she's like, oh, relax. You didn't do anything. You just fell asleep. You were really drunk. And then she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. She's like, I'm naked. And she's like, no, no, you're wearing my shirt. I helped you, but I didn't look. And he's like talking about how he like helped her like change and like was trying to be like a gentleman. Because uh-huh. <laughs> he, he said he felt, he would have felt guilty if he slept with her. So the next morning they're having breakfast and he says, like they're sitting there talking and, and she's like talking about how embarrassed she is. And then she's like, well, you know, I do want to ask you a question. You know, last night, you know, you were we were being friendly and whatnot, and he's like, "But uh, do you still want to have sex with me?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> and so she's like, "What are you serious?" And she's just like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Unbuttoning his shirt," uh-huh. and then she's just like, "Oh, I guess." <laughs> and then, yeah, they bang the next day. That's funny. Yeah. Oh man, I thought that was cool. Like, like he was trying to be a gentleman and like. He knew he'd be embarrassed to ask or get rejected the next day, but he asked anyways. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to go. Yeah. I mean, because I would feel like I'm raping somebody. Because, like, whenever I think of, like, like to me, if you get somebody drunk to have sex with them, that's fucking rape. Like, I don't care what anybody says. To me, that's rape. Like, if you're using some something to get them to, to loosen up or to, like, I don't know. Uh-huh. Spread their legs easier, like that's rape to me. That's I, cheating. I've only done that with girlfriends, but they were getting drunk, so it's not like I forced them to drink. Well, of course, but that's different. But I mean, if your game is to go to the bar, oh, and wait pick till up the last on, call when they're yeah, smashed, yeah, to pick up on drunk chicks, that's rape. 
to me. Yeah, I guess so. I've always kind of felt that way, but I mean, whatever. You know, you want to do that kind of stuff, and the law lets you get away with it, so. I don't know. Yeah, all I know is, next girlfriend, I'm not dating someone who has exes. Everybody has exes. I mean, who's friends with their ex. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a wise choice. I don't know how you keep getting screwed on that. Uh, well, it was. Well, yes, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I just picked the shitty girls. Maybe. Oh, guys, lots of guy friends, kind of annoying too. Yeah, but you know what? I, I've noticed that like girls don't have like a lot of girlfriends. Some girls have some friends, but most girls, I feel like, I want to say like. Most girls don't really have girlfriends, like really uh, well, close, no, like well, just... unless they're like coworkers or something. Well, I'm just saying because the last couple that I did was like a bunch of guy friends, but it was like the annoying guy friends, like the guys that want to try to hook up with them. Yeah, but, but that's usually like, like, like dude, the girl's fault. Like, are you dumb? Like, no, this that... guy totally likes you. Oh well, no, he's not. We're just that. friends. We're just friends. I'm like, okay. Dude, but, but she knows that they totally like them. That's why girls like that have guys friends like that. Yeah, that's just annoying. But that's what they want. They want somebody to be chasing them all the time. It's like, okay, we've been dating for four years. I know what friends you hang out with. So when some random one of your guy friends is all of a sudden texting like weird hours, like, yeah. what? You don't even hang out with this guy. Ah, oh, he's just a friend. I'm like, okay, it's kind of weird, but all right. Yeah, it's kind and of then weird. later on the road, it's like, oh, that guy liked me. Like, no shit he fucking liked you. It's like, dude, I'm a fucking guy. Like, as a guy and being around guys, you know what guys do. You know oh, what yeah. I, mean? I don't know. All right. That's just my two cents on it. That was pretty good. I don't know. That's just something that's like, that's so annoying to me. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, dude. All right, let's talk about happy stuff now. At the drive-in. One of my most favorite bands from high school. Which I feel kind of dumb because I could have known about At the Drive-In a lot earlier if I hadn't made fun of their CD cover. Which one? I made fun of... Um, oh my gosh. The one with the gas mask on it. Acrobatic Tenement? Yeah. I made fun of that. I was Why? like, I don't know. I remember being like, gas mask. I was like, what is this, stoner band? That's a good album, though. It is a good album. I would argue it's probably one of like their best album. Yeah, I really would. I, I really like In Casino, Out Casino, but I would argue that that was one of their best CDs. Okay. And I made fun of it. And I didn't I'm, listen to it until much later. I just want to say this, and everyone can go fuck themselves if they don't agree with me, but I think Mar, uh, At The Drive-In is better than Mars Volta. And Sparta. That's my two cents. Go yeah, ahead and hate. I mean, hate? I don't care. I don't care what you say. I don't really like the Mars Volta. Mm. Not at all? Well, they're all right, but... If Didn't I you go it, see them? No. I thought yeah. you did. Aaron went, but I didn't go because I think they suck. But if I had to choose between at the drive-in or Mars Volta at the drive-in, definitely. Yeah, I mean, if I had to choose between those bands, I would choose. But I like Sparta and Mars Volta for different reasons. I like all of them. I like in Sparta. different ways. I don't don't get me wrong, but I'd rather have Mars. I'd rather not Mars Volta. I'd rather have at the drive-in. I think what they did with at the drive-in is way better than what they did with Mars Volta. Yeah, definitely. And Sparta. They still did better stuff with At The Drive-In. It was just way before his time. Yes, it was. Yeah. Because that came out like in the late 90s? Yeah, like... Mid 90s? Well, the relationship of Command came out in like 2000. Yeah, but so the other ones came out way before that. Yeah, like like late 90s, yeah. Mid to late 90s. I think one of their albums, like one of their first ones, major ones, dropped in like 96 or something like that. 97. And then they came out with albums like every other year consistently after that until they broke up. 
Yeah, but they're coming back right now. They're doing a world tour or some shit like that. I know there's two dates, one in L.A. and one in San Francisco. The Fillmore, I believe. I don't know the dates, though. But someone was saying it's like 60 bucks a ticket, which eh, it's kind of pricey, but it's not too bad. That's a lot. I mean, it is. But, I mean, at least it's... Uh, yeah, it is kind of pricey. I don't know. I'm bucks. just trying to justify the the price paying, you know, paying that much. Who I mean, else is playing with him? I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. But I paid twenty five bucks to see No Warning on their reunion, which is a lot for a hardcore band. Yeah, and it is. Mar- uh, at the drive-ins, like pretty big now. Like they're way bigger now than they were when they were an actual band i know i think i always thought that was kind of funny that they got like huge after they weren't a band anymore well yeah that's kind of how it happened really well, it sure feels like that now with all the reunion tours going around well i guess that's true or kind of like nirvana how like nirvana was like huge for like years and decades and decades after they've been like deceased yeah I like Foo Fighters way better than Nirvana, though, to be honest. <laughs> I know, me too. That's really weird. But David Grohl's a genius. Yeah. I just think he's cool and I like his hair. He does <laughs> seem really cool. I'll give you that one. Did you see when he broke his leg? And yeah, he, he just totally... kept playing. Yeah. Like, that's fucking badass, dude. Yeah. He's like, oh, you guys all paid for a ticket, so I'm going to keep playing. It's like, oh, wow, that's kind of cool yeah like i hate the whole like rock star mentality like i'm just gonna do whatever i want whenever i want and nobody's gonna say anything to me like i hate that kind of attitude but like david grohl is a cool rock star and he is a rock star yeah definitely a rock star but not an asshole one no no no. i mean i don't know i don't really know the guy i know him personally oh, okay you best friends with him yeah you got his number on speed dial yeah Speed dial. Who uses phones anymore? I do. You don't answer them. <laughs> or call me back. I know. I'm terrible. And by the way, a phone call is more important than a text. Just so you know. Just so you know. No. If anyone's listening, if you get a phone call over a text, it's probably more important. Yeah, I consider phone calls like urgent. Except for when I call. And you're like, shit, text me, bro. <laughs> Wait, did I say that? Yeah, you did. <laughs> did I? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh. If you're so important, you should text me. <laughs> well, sometimes I'm like in like busy and like I can't just pick up the phone. But if you called, then or if you texted, I could just be like, oh shoot, I better go run in a corner and call this guy back. I know, I'm just giving you a hard time, dude. Yeah, I know. All right, now on to crappier things. Are you aware of a movie called Project Almanac? Uh, I have not heard about it until you talked about it. So, uh, no, I don't really know anything about it. Okay. It's a crappy Michael Bay film. Well, if it's Michael Bay, it probably sucks. Unless it's Bad Boys. He kills everything, it seems like. He did Bad Boys? Yeah. Wow. That movie rules, though, right? Yeah, Bad Boys is awesome. I'm going to give him that one. But, okay. Fucking with Ninja Turtles, you ruined it, dude. Why did you even mess with that? Or Transformers. You know, I'm not going to lie. I actually like the first one, but everything okay, after that is kind of garbage. Like, I watched, uh, what was it, Age of Extinction. I bought it because it was on sale on clearance for $3 for a Blu-ray. And I'm like, wow, that was a waste of $3. I should have just left that on the shelf. It's horrible. Dude, Michael Bay even looks like a douche. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he did Armageddon. Which one's Armageddon? Oh, well, that's the one where they blow up the, the asteroids coming to Earth. Yeah, and they the like... And they send... Tyler's daughter. Yeah, and Bruce Willis. Yeah. And my boy Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck was in that? I don't really remember him being in it. Dude, wait a second. He did Pain and Gain. What's that one? Pain and Gain. I it was with was. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I never saw that Dwayne one. The Rock Johnson. Yeah, I didn't see that one. My boy. No. No? No, I didn't see that. He also did Pearl Harbor. 
Pearl yeah. Harbor was garbage. I hated that movie. Really? I did not like that movie. And you know what makes me laugh? I dated this girl, and she bought that for me as my birthday gift. And I'm like, I don't like this movie. But she loved it because that Josh, Josh Hartnell was in it or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. So for my birthday, she bought it for me. But it was basically like she bought herself a movie. Because I never watched it, and she's the one who watched it. Wait, Leah liked that guy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this Pearl Harbor? I don't, I, I don't want this movie. All right. He also did The Rock. Which, I don't know what that one is either. I don't remember that one. Um, dude, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Damn these electronic locks. Sean Connery? Oh, I don't remember that one. Nicholas Cage. Ah, yeah, I don't remember that one. This is the one where he's like trapped on Alcatraz. Oh, and he's threatening okay. to like release the biochemical attack weapon stuff. Okay, I don't really remember the movie, but I remember that part where he's trapped on Alcatraz. But I don't remember the movie in general. I remember my brother when we were younger, effing loved that movie. Well, my brother did. I liked it, but I only remember liking it because of all the stuff getting blown up. I feel like that's the problem with Michael Bay films is they only they're only meant to distract you with like explosions, bright explosions loud and... noises. Yeah, it's just ugh. But it's all CG anyways, which kind of kills the whole cool purpose of it. Yeah. Is it CG? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I don't know. know. But yeah, that's like I watched that Age of Extinction and all it is is like stuff blowing up. It's like an hour and a half of just cars blowing up. Yeah explosions i'm like all right i get it okay so i'm looking at this list and i'm actually seeing some movies that are actually pretty good and i hate to admit it because that project almanac was freaking garbage it's like if you're gonna do anything on time travel can at least have anything to do with science does it have to be like stupid just based around the theory of time travel like i don't know it bothered me it wasn't good it wasn't it wasn't cool Okay, so talking about time travel, I got a question for you. Yeah. Have you seen The Flash, the, the series? TV no. Series? Oh, okay, well, can I ruin it for you real quick? One uh, second. No. Because there's a part in there about time travel that I want to talk to you about because I'm like, I was talking this to someone else who had seen it. Well, let me watch it. I'll, I'll watch it. But this is totally on the subject. Don't spoil it for me, though. Okay, oh, well, okay let's just take this in theory then. <sighs> <laughs> just take this in theory okay. okay so if you go back in time and you stop someone from committing something yes butterfly effect now would that not change the present yes it would okay so let's say let's say um your great grandson comes back to make it so that you don't die Okay. Because if you die, then he's never born. He could never come back to the future. Right. To save everything. You get what I'm saying? But let's say you decide you don't like your great grandson because he's a fucking asshole. So you kill yourself. Like the, yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, what? So to stop your grandson from being an asshole, you kill yourself. But wouldn't that just change the whole course of time in general? Yeah. Because if your grandson never came back to protect you from kill it, from dying, then all that shit would have never happened. Yeah. But if you kill yourself, then he was never born, so he would never have come back to the, the past to even protect you to save you. Yes. So wouldn't that change the whole like the whole current present would be changed, right? Yeah. So let's say like like uh, your great grandson traveled back twenty years, has been there for twenty years protecting your ass, so you're not getting hurt or dying, and he saved you three times. So the present right now, the only reason you're alive is because your grandson saved your ass. But if you kill yourself, then your grandson was never born, so he couldn't have saved you. So you would possibly be dead twenty years before because he saved you from dying. Yes. But then I guess he wouldn't die though, because if he was, if, well, if he would have died, he would never been born, so he still wouldn't have been able to come back to save you. No. See, the time travel's so weird. I wouldn't even mess with it. 
No, I wouldn't either. There's like not one part of me that would want to do that. That sounds like uh, the worst nightmare ever. Like if you like the idea that if you went back in time and you changed one thing, that could potentially ruin the lives of like everybody on earth. Like because if you took something away or put something there that wasn't there before, it could like kill a bunch of people. Yeah. Or like ruin somebody else's life. Just because of something small that you changed doesn't even have to be anything major. Time travel's weird. I wouldn't mess with it. That's like like the movie The Butterfly Effect because you're talking about that was a good movie. Yeah, and that's like pretty much exactly what we're talking about. Like, yeah, you just mess one thing up and now you're just like goodbye, current, present. Yeah, later. Like the like I don't know. I'm afraid of time travel, but like going to space would be tight. Okay, the only time travel I would do would be like a day or two. I'd go back a day. Like, okay, I'd go back one day after I got the Powerball numbers, and then I'd play the numbers before they draw them. That's like time travel to me. That's like, I'd just be messing up one day, whatever. It's not a big deal. Mm. It's only one day, 24 hours, whatever. I'd do that. I wouldn't care. Yeah, I mean, you could still potentially, like, kill yourself. Or, or I'd just go back, like, an hour. Like, oh, Powerball draws at 8. Okay, got the numbers. Let me go back to 6.30. Boom. Hour and a half. How much have you fucked up in an hour and a half other than you just won a gazillion trillion dollars? Yeah, but what if that ruins the rest of your life? What if then you I just go like, back and go, don't buy that fucking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but every time, like, here's the thing, like, and this is the beef I have with, like, time travel movies. Every time you go back to that time, you're messing it up by just being there. By just being there again, you're messing it up. Even if you're going back and redoing the same day, you are actually still messing it up. Every time you go back from the last time, like you can't just go all the way back and reset. You every time you go back, you're redoing what you did the last time, but you're redoing it again. So here's the thing though, what if you run into yourself going back in time? Then what happens? I don't know. Like would that like fuck you up if you ran into yourself? Yeah, I would assume that would be like really bad. You probably like tear a hole in the space time continuum. I don't know. All I know is I'm not time traveling. Yeah, no, I want no problem. I want no part of it. And I hope robots don't fuck with the future either. <laughs> yeah. Like Terminator, I don't I don't want none of that shit either. Skynet? No. Oh, you know what's crazy though is those self driving cars. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. It's I think it's cool. crazy that people are like, oh, I'd trust a self-driving car. Like, dude, they had those freaking Priuses that were, like, malfunctioning with their engines or some shit, and people were dying. The brakes were malfunctioning and revving up or some shit like that. It was, like, a few years back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I remember. And, like, now you're going to trust a completely self-driven car? Hell no, dude. Yeah. Like, oh, well, that's not my fault. The car was driving. Like, oh, God. I don't know. I like the idea of having self-driven cars because people suck at driving. The idea is good, but think about all the bugs. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to work out, but one day I think it'll be there. What if you get the killer cars like that uh, Maximum Turbo, what was it called? Where the, the cars all get mines and they start killing people. The <laughs> 80s, The 80s movie. All Maximum the... Overdrive? Was that what it was? I don't know. The only car movie I remember is Christine. You don't remember that movie? It was a classic. Car. It was a classic 80s film where like something happens and like somehow the cars all get their own minds and they start killing people and running people over. I think Google it. I think it is Maximum Overdrive. Come on. I know you've seen it. But this would be worse because they're all smart cars. So it'd be like... <laughs> they'd just be like... Killing people hella easy. Uh oh. Well, this looks like a good place to end it. You didn't even Google the movie. What a jerk. Okay, I think it's Maximum Overdrive. If yeah, you're we'll look it up. If you're I gotta listening, go. just Google it. I gotta go kill a spider. Watch it. Watch that movie. Yeah. All right, this is Pizza Panda. <laughs> this is Pizza this is Panda <laughs> filling in for Pizza. Yeah, and this is Eddie, and we will catch you for the next one.